Hello there, and welcome to another segment of Up Far Discussion. Today, three of the hottest topics in the comic book universe. First, we're going to start up with... It's a spat on myself. <laughs> What's that? I accidentally what spat on myself. That? It's like a drum roll. What? Right, first we're going to start it's off perfect. with... The Green Lantern Corps update. Now, over... Well, actually, not over the weekend, because it's just a weekend now. In the duration of the week, we've had some hot updates from the DCEU. We've had a picture of the Justice League. We've had... Actually, we'll discuss the other things later on in the episode, because they'll fit in better. So let's start with the update on the Green Lantern Corps. Now, it's been confirmed that not only is Jon Stewart going to feature, but also Hal Jordan is going to be a buddy cop in space. Why are you, you rolling your eyes out? That sounds great. Yeah, but I, 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 I don't like... When they say, like, buddy cop stuff, I don't like the idea mm-hmm. of that. Clearly you do. So what's your thoughts? Yeah, man. Lethal weapon, bro. It's great. Yeah. Go with it. I mean... Yeah, you got to make... you got to make these movies stand out. Do something on the, to, to make them different. You know, go... You don't want to bring Marvel into this all the time, but you know, Marvel did different stuff with their films. Captain America Winter Soldier is different from the rest of them. You've got to do something different, send it in space. You definitely need to separate it from that god-awful thing they got a few years back, okay. which should have been in our worst comic book movies list, by the way. We completely forgot about it, but do something different. See, one parallel I drew, you say buddy cop movie in space, or well, what's the differentiation mm-hmm. between Thor and... Bruce Banner in Thor Ragnarok. What's the difference there? You said they're trying well, to sound different. Se- we haven't seen it, but um, from what I've heard, that that's more of like a a road trip movie instead through space. Yeah. First, dividing off Ragnarok. Ragnarok sounds like a pretty heavy subject matter, really. So you got to believe. I mean, we, we don't know the tone of you know when people hear buddy cop movie, they immediately think comedy doesn't necessarily mean that. Lethal Weapon's a, a funny movie, but it's serious. Yeah, you know I mean, the later one's got funny, but it's not like it's going to be a rush hour. It's not like it's going to be 21 Jump Street. It doesn't have to be a complete comedy. I, 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 the, see, now the problem is now, now you've got both of them, who's going to be the Green Lantern? You mean in the JLA? In the Justice League films or whatever, in the expanded universe, when there, when there's beef and we've got multiple characters, we've got Superman, we've got Batman, we've got Wonder Woman, we've got Flash, we've got Cyborg throwing up, we've got them on road doing their thing, Green Lantern rolls up, who's it going to be? Why can't it be both of them? Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. You're going to have two of them in, in a Justice League film. Because it's ridiculous. The way. Sure. Because the, then that's overcrowding. They're going to be doing the same job. What's one going to be doing? The only, Why not? The only thing. Well, then if you want to pick one, well, you can pick one. But if you want to pick one, I suppose you probably go with John Stewart. Why? Well, for obvious reasons. If you want me to say it, he's black. <laughs> there you go. See now, it's why he was in the cartoon. That's why he was in the cartoon, wasn't it? The way you I, want to mix cast, and put him in there. The way I see it, this whole buddy cop thing is basically going to be commanding officer and protege. Hal Jordan's going to be the commanding officer. John Stewart's going to be the protege. So now you're telling me, I beg my pardon, that you want you want John Stewart to be in the Justice League film when clearly he's going to be made out to be less experienced if you will how do you know that we haven't seen it yet what so they're... No, they might they might change it up and even if they don't who cares the only differentiation between the two can't be skin color well of course not okay who so, said that well that's but if they're both doing the same thing they're both protecting us they're both doing the same thing they're yeah, both, but they're both got they're... completely different personalities don't they john stewart is a very serious soldier guy yeah, the militant guy it makes sense. To put him in the team. He's used to it. And John, there's an uh, argument. You know, you got ba- you got Batman there, so it never will be. But there's an argument that if Batman wasn't there, he'd probably be the leader. He makes sense to be in the team. Okay, so let's move on to 
the second story on the agenda and that is the return of Ronnie Raymond to the Arrowverse. Now you remember the last time we saw him, the proper actual last time we saw him, you know, if you're going to argue semantics and say Deathstorm in the Earth 2 uh, episode mm, okay. of The Flash, but let's take it back. The last time we saw Ronnie Raymond is when he flew into the Singularity and blew himself up and died at the in the series one finale of the flash what's your thoughts about him returning my thoughts were he was kind of boring and i'm glad he's gone so i'm not particularly looking forward to him coming back and do we know is he definitely is he ronnie raymond or is he the other one i figure he's got to be ronnie raymond because I don't think okay. they really explain that. I think they give it a lot of birth in space. See, the problem is, if we get back to the Green Lantern, now we've got two firestorms. Number one, who is... See, now there's an argument there where you say, is he Deathstorm? Because obviously, um, I forget what the other guy's called, but Martin Stein and the other guy, uh, Jefferson, yeah. Jefferson Jackson, they're bonded for Ronnie Raymond to be firestorm who is he bonded with so now there's a kind of there could be an argument to maybe he is Deathstorm from another Earth or Ronnie from another Earth wasn't that wasn't he or like I forget who it was but wasn't he already bonded with someone on like a, like a metaphysical level like they're completely they, oh wait no what wasn't he with Stein yeah it was with Martin Stein it was with Stein wasn't he yeah. then he blew up in the singularity and then he kind of he was gone, so Martin Stein had to find another one, so he found Jefferson Jackson. That's a good question. I don't know. I mean, first of all, there being two firestorms, it doesn't really matter. You know, because that's, one's in that's Legends that's, of Tomorrow. Really yeah. One's yeah, in one's Legends of Tomorrow. One's in a natural traveling in the galaxy, and there was going to be constant about with either Arrow or the Flash, probably. So that doesn't really matter. Who he's going to be bonded with, I don't know. Do you think that's going to kind of be just a plot device for Caitlin Snow because she's going off the rails? You know she's going off the rails. There ain't no two ways about it. I think... Well, because the, the last episode, it seemed that it was setting her up with... Um, oh, Christ, I don't want to call him Draco Malfoy. What the hell was his name in the show? Julian. Julian, right. It seemed they were setting something up there. Um, yeah, but it is... So maybe it's... He's probably going to end up getting killed. It's just, I yeah. think she's going to be like the disastrous relationship kind of character. I mean, you had Firestorm that ended in tears. Now he's coming back. Then you had Jay Garrick, who obviously Hunter Zolomon, that ended in tears. And now you got this one. I mean, that kid's going to, he's going to be killed off. Let's be real about this now. It's not going to, it's okay, it might last till the season finale, but it's not going to be back next season. I mean, maybe maybe I'll... that will be a thing that will drive her over the edge because we know um, uh, the Black Flash, who I guess is Hunter Zolomon, is coming in. So that's going to be all three of her exes. And I imagine if they do kill off so what do you Julian call... Alpert. Why does everyone call him Black Flash for when it's Professor Zoom? Well, because Professor no, it's Zoom when he's alive. He's dead, isn't he? Okay, then. No, he's just... Yeah, well, there you go. He's like a Grim Reaper, but the Flash version. So, Black Flash. Black is not. I, um, something like that, yeah. So, he's coming, so, if he's coming back, and if they do kill off Julian, and they are bringing back Ronnie Raymond, that's still going to be all three of them there. Maybe that's what drives her over the edge. <laughs> Maybe he's not really alive. Maybe she's just really crazy. Okay, because... Obviously, you, you see where they could work in the Earth 2 angle, considering Laurel Lance is back even though she's obviously Black Siren. So, I mean, that yeah. was that was pretty obvious. I mean, let's be honest, the, the actress wasn't really going anywhere <laughs> past this. So, I knew it wouldn't be long for her to come back. No offence, I'm sure she's a nice, nice woman, but let's be serious. You know, I can't imagine her getting that, that much offers elsewhere. She probably will on the CW, they like the year three people. Yeah, but they'll have to come up with some lacklustre TV show to put her in first. Right, moving on from that, before we get too involved in that conversation, we'll move on to our last story for the day, and that is... That's the bit where you're meant to chime in. Oh, well, that would be Ares. 
Aries. He burned as the villain of Wonder Woman. Confirmed. So the actor who's going to play him is the guy, if I do remember, who played... Uh, I haven't heard this, go on. Oh, Colonel Stryker from X-Men Origins Wolverine. I forget his actual name. Danny... Danny... No, something Houston. Really? Yeah, that yeah, guy? yeah. Yeah, that guy. That guy, because you see him in the trailer, don't you? He's kind of wearing a Nazi uniform. I don't know. You've, because in 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 the tra- you've seen the new trailer, right? No, I don't think so. You could have at least said yeah, even though you didn't, and said you don't recall. You know, at least I like to be honest. <laughs> at least try and look professional. But basically, <laughs> you're an idiot. Basically, in the new okay. in the new trailer for Wonder Woman, the two minute long trailer, you've got him in there. Uh, I think his name is Danny Houston. I'm gonna go with it. If it's wrong. I'm not really bothered, but he's basically in an army uniform, kind of looks like a normal guy, and is like about, you see a couple flash them. You also see a woman with a kind of face mask down there, a kind of weird porcelain like face mask. So I figure she's got to be involved somewhere because she's the only one who looks different, you know what I mean? So whether Air- Ares is going to be like a, a Nazi commander and that's him like with his role because that's what he kind of does doesn't he kind of Ares' role yeah. is to kind of invoke yeah, conflict he's a god of war. Yeah, to invoke conflict so he is posing as a Nazi getting World War One kicking off and obviously Wonder Woman intervenes and then he'll reveal himself I hope it, I hope they'll actually do like a, a CGI like version of actual Ares and that they don't just have him like eyes light up and have a kooky voice or something like speaking through a vessel I want to actually see like proper light beefy areas like about a foot taller than her just looking down on her like <sighs> yeah. Ares is a cool looking character I don't know if I mean I... Ares is her probably her coolest villain it's not her main villain I suppose that's like Cheetah but the thing is with Wonder Woman most of her villains suck they do. Like, Cheetah's all right. Ares is cool, but aside from that, so Cersei, you kind of you kind of draw it into a corner where Cersei, Ares is she's she's a mother. Ares is potentially. I thought Cersei was her sister. Maybe I get confused. Is she? That's what I thought. Oh yeah, Hi- Hi- Hippolyta or whatever her name is. That's her mother. Yeah. yeah. So Ares is probably her best villain but I would maybe have saved him for a JLA movie nah but I suppose they got to go for it because what you could do we'll see it. what you could do is you could have like Ares picking up the pieces afterwards after Justice League or maybe instigating with Darkseid but I think if you had that you'd need other characters to do so maybe there'll be interaction with Steppenwolf but what's Steppenwolf actually going to look like? Is he going to be CGI? Or is he going to actually be like a person? I don't know, because we, we've seen a deleted scene, but we don't know if he's going to look like that. He looked cool there, though, didn't he? Yeah, I guess for a scene. We don't know how it's going to be for an entire movie, but it looked fine enough. I... Ares, I mean, I, yeah, I suppose they have to do it. Do you think Wonder Woman's going to be okay? Not the film, or do you think yeah. she, she she's going to be okay, like emotionally? No, he's not. The, I'm I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm in the film. Um, I'm seeing, I'm seeing seventy percent. You know, if if you if you had the ratings, I'm seeing seventy percent, which is solid. You know, uh, uh, along the lines of Man of Steel, Man of Steel ratings. You know what I mean? Like uh, uh, above average, not amazing, but I mean it could be amazing. I mean, it could be really good, you don't know, but nothing like this has really been done before, if you know what I mean. Like, Marvel hasn't really done... I mean, Marvel's first kind of punt of it's going to be Captain Marvel, like, female lead character. Mm. Well, it's been done before, but it's failed every time. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to wait and see. Right, so there's your latest updates. We'll see you in the next episode. Like, share, subscribe. We've got love for the fans. We'll see you in the next video. I've been Sam. I've been Matt. We'll see you next time.